can you use any of these batteries in any of these machines? And the answer is yes. Uh, there's been quite a few questions I've had um, where people have wanted to now purchase the new battery products from Husqvarna, so the 540i and the T540i XPs. Uh, and they already own one or two maybe of these older products. They've got maybe two or three of these older battery batteries here. Uh, this is actually uh, one not available anymore, this is a 4.2. Uh, and the answer is yes, you can put any of these batteries in any of these machines. The difference comes when you want optimum performance. So for these two saws to get optimum cutting performance, you're going to be looking at putting the BLI 300 in or the BLI 200X. You see the difference in size between the, the 300 and the 200X. This is obviously going to be bigger and heavier. So in the tree when we're working, I would probably prefer to use the 200X. I'm still going to get the same performance that I'm going to get from this 300, except it's lighter. I can put this 200X in any of these other machines, but I'm only going to get the performance required out of the T540i, some magical thing that Husqvarna have done in there in the brain. So I can use this in any of the other machines, but optimum cutting performance, either with the with the 300 or the 200X needs to go into the T540i. You can put the 300 or the 200 in any of these machines, no problem. Here I've got the BLI 100 and this is extremely light. It's the same size but it's really really light. I'm obviously not going to get the same cutting capacity or uh, life of the battery but if I'm wanting to do some pruning in the tree, so small diameter cuts, a lot of dead wooding, if you put that 100 into the T540i, it makes it an extremely light saw, very, very easy to use while in the tree. Uh, makes my job a lot easier. So actually now what I've got is I've got one chainsaw with a variety of chain, uh, batteries sorry, to choose from depending on what I'm cutting. So small diameter uh, cuts, light wood, going to use a BLI 100 so it makes it easy for me in the tree and then stepping up is going to be the 200x for dismantles and uh, larger diameter cuts so hopefully that's helped clarify a few things for you and uh, yeah enjoy using your battery products so let's just have a, a look at the comparison between the batteries and I'm just going to use the T540 IXP I've chosen a hard piece of timber, so a dense piece. I've got a piece of holm oak, um, so it's going to be pretty hard. So it's probably uh, maximum kind of timber that I'd be cutting as in density. And it's obviously quite seasoned, so it's going to be a good test. First one I'm going to start off with is the old battery. So this is the 4.2. And I'm gonna do all of these tests off of eco mode. So this is maximum power, okay, full, full potential. Next I've got the BLI 100. This is not something I would usually uh, use to cut this size diameter timber or density. So uh, this would be the wrong choice for what I'm cutting here, but it's a good example. Here I've got the BLI 200, so this is not the X version, this is just the standard 200. Now 
now we've got the BLI 200X. So this is the battery of choice for this diameter timber density, dismantling that sort of work in the tree. Last battery now I've got is a BLI 300, so same optimum performance, bigger, heavier battery. So not ideal climbing around the tree, but maybe in a work platform is a good option. Next saw I'm going to use, just as a comparison, is the equivalent petrol version. So this is the T540 XP, petrol version obviously. Uh, it hasn't been started yet, so I'll just do a cold start on it. Oh, <laughs> my